Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon. And today I'm going to give you eight red flags of a person you should not be dating them. You should be making your way to get away from them. And you certainly shouldn't consider marrying that person. Once you say, I do, my friend, it's for life. And if you are dating anyone, you must consider there is no time to waste. You have to have a checklist for yourself. You have to know what you're looking for, or you could easily end up in sexual sin and simply wasting your time. So when you end up perhaps meeting the right person, you're not tied up and bound up. Let's go right into these red flags. Number one, they're not in any particular order, um, but they are all uh, things that I've pondered that I believe will help you to gauge because friends, love is not difficult. When you are in a good, healthy relationship, it's not difficult. So let us go in. Number one, that person does not know Jesus Christ, period. You should not give anyone the time or the day because if you love Christ and you are protecting that most important relationship with you and your heavenly father and our savior, Jesus Christ, you are not on a mission to save them. It doesn't work, friends. That person is going to, um, they're going to display um, what they say about Christ in their behavior. They will. And they're certainly going to talk about Jesus. There is nothing worse than talking to someone and you ask them, you know, so you and your um, fiance, you know, y'all finna get married. That's awesome. You know, what's your ministries? What what do you all do for Christ? And the person to turn around and say, "Mm, nothing. And you're like, okay, does he know Christ? I don't know. Friends, that is the worst kind of conversation when you're talking to somebody and you you about to marry someone, you've been with this person for a year and you don't know if he loved Jesus. You don't know if she loved Jesus. Friend, that's a red flag if you don't know. <laughs> you you need to run. If you if you have dated and and had a conversation with a person once, they should be talking about the savior. Number 2, Actually, that was zero. That was the bonus. That's like a no-brainer. I'm telling you, friend, if you try to hook up with someone that's outside of Christ, you're asking for nothing but misery and trouble. Number two, or excuse me, number one, (laughs) that was a freebie. Number one, that person is very selfish. They're always money misering. They're they're misers when it comes to money. Constantly... um, pulling on you, be it male or female, you have to pay attention to that because they're going to be that exact same way as you move forward. If you go into a marriage, you will have a problem with that person. I'm I'm talking about, they be asking how much is the water? (laughs) Look, they take you out to dinner. You know, the water is free. Uh, Well, I guess it's supposed to be, depending on what restaurant. How much is this water? I mean, (laughs) friend, pay attention to those old selfish, stingy folk. Ask them what they do with their money. You should know, how do you spend money? Are you, you know, a person that um, loves to contribute to other uh, charity groups? Do you, you know, give um, to strangers? How do you feel about giving to uh, the homeless? You need to be knowing these things, number two. There is no compliments. They don't compliment you. They don't express gratitude for you. Friend, if he or she doesn't do it now, they're not going to do it later. And you will end up bitter because why? You will say, they take me for what? Granted. And remember, we are created in God's image and God loves praise and adoration. And the Bible says we should not praise ourselves, but let others. So if that significant 
other never compliments you, never shows gratitude. Watch how they receive gifts. Watch how they receive when you have gone out your way to do something special for them. Friend, watch how they respond because how they do you now is how they go do you later. And if they're just all casual and with thanks, you come back the little gift you bought them thrown off somewhere and you like, honey, run. That's a red flag. You don't want someone that's ungrateful, uncomplimentary. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Number three, they're not available. They're constantly setting up um, times for you and, 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 and that person to spend time together. They're constantly um, at the last minute calling it off. You're constantly disappointed. You're just not you're not able to rely on them to come through. Run. What you get now is what you're going to get later because when you are of great importance to this person, you 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 can count on it. When they say, you know, let's make time Friday. Let's just, you know, go down to the pier and walk the water. He, he or she call you at 8 and they're supposed to be there at 8. And this is constantly a pattern run, number four, silent treatment. Anyone that's constantly giving you the silent silent treatment when they're upset with you, run. That's an emotional abuser. Stay away from them. Any person, if you have the type of relationship where communication is vitally important, my friend, and that person is constantly shutting you down, run, run. Run, Forrest, run. (laughs) Number five, any domestic violence, any person that hit you, slap you, pinch you, they're just expressing this look. Run, run. You setting yourself up. If he or she can slap you and punch you now, they go do it later, friend. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Get away from them. Run, run. Don't be desperate. Number six, they are wasteful of money and time. That's the opposite of the stingy one. They just throw money around, especially if you know they don't make a lot of money, and they're just running through money, frivolous with money. Friend, that person you, you don't want that because how are you going to start a family? How are you going to build if that person bleed out the money constantly? Constantly. Mm-mm. You're going to be unequally yoked right there. And it causes many, many woes inside of marriages. Time. They waste time. This person is always late. Huh. They're just wasting your time. You, you, you're, they're unpredictable. They're the ones said, let's meet at 10 for brunch, for early, late breakfast. And you show up and you there till 1030, 1045. Here come, here come Mr. or Miss Important. They don't have no regard of your time. Red flag number seven, ask no questions. This person does not inquire of you. They're not asking, you know, Listen, my son, this is, I think it's so cute. When I come home almost without fail, my son says, Ma, how was your day at work? Every day. If, if he's here, he always asks, Ma, how was work? This person never asked you anything about you. They don't have a regard for you. Friend, run for your life. Run for your life. When someone is concerned about you and they care about you, they want to know how was your day? What did you do today? Where that moment, there is just you and them, eyeball to eyeball, and you saying, you know what, sweetie, I had some kind of a day today. And you can rely on that cushion. If you can't find it now, you ain't going to find it later. Number eight. Number eight. They express dislike for your family and or your friends. Now, these are primary relationships that you have had before they came into your life and they don't like you. Look, anybody that could tell you they don't like your mama. They don't like your mom talk too much. Your daddy, you, honey, run. Some stuff you keep to yourself. That's they mama. That's they daddy. You don't be talking about nobody's mama and daddy. Something wrong with you. And let me tell you, friend, that's that's just a go, run. Red flag is going to increase. It's going to cause problems. If you end up in a marriage, it's going to be a hottie mess. 
Why are you giving so much to your mother? Why are you always taking her places? These are things that, friend, you got to walk carefully. And last but not least, I got one more bonus. You and her or you and him, you just don't get along. Friend, if you don't get along now, you're not going to get along later. That's a major red flag. There will always be conflict and friction. It's getting on your nerve now. And you've barely known this person. Run. Do not invest another day, another hour, another week, another month. Run. Enough said. Till next time, my friend. Don't ignore these types of red flags. Don't be desperate. What's over state that you find yourself in? Be content. God bless my friend. Till next time.